upon earth and bless dearest lady the land of our birth Ave, Ave, Ave Maria Ave Through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we offer our prayers and petitions to God, most specially for peace in our hearts, in our families, in our country, in the church, and in the world. We pray in reparation of our sins for the conversion of all sinners, those who have gone away from the practice of the faith and living in error, for all the vulnerable, the unborn, the elderly, the dying, the disabled, and all those who are sick. We especially pray for all those who are afflicted and are suffering due to coronavirus for their healing, for all those in the front lines of the present crises, for doctors, nurses, healthcare practitioners who are answering the, the, the call to minister to those who are sick, and for those priests and religious who are also ministering to the dying. We pray for the eternal rest of the souls of the faithful departed, the souls in purgatory, and those who have no one praying for them. And in a special way we pray for the people we promise to pray for in particular and for all our personal intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For the enemies of the Church and the persecuted Christians around the world, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my, my Jesus, Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, save us, save us from, from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Let us now offer and meditate on the glorious mysteries of our Savior, the first glorious mystery, is the resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation 
but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O oh my, my Jesus, Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my, my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our, our sins, sins, save us from the fires of hell, hell and lead all souls, souls to heaven, heaven especially those in most need of thy mercy. mercy. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the Blessed Virgin Mary and the Apostles. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my, oh my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our, our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary as Queen of heaven and earth. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my, oh my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us of our sins, save, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, 
especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, prebanus, children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most O gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, Alleluia. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries in the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. For the Pope and the bishops in the hierarchy, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint, Saint Michael, Michael, the archangel, defend, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who roam throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. All you holy angels and saints of God, pray for us. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and, and may, may the, the souls, souls of the faithful, faithful departed, departed, through the mercy of God, God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implore thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To thee we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise at our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray, Pray for, for us who have recourse, recourse to Thee. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Bishop. A welcome, a warm welcome to all those who are with us this morning to participate in the celebration of this Holy Eucharist on our third Sunday of Easter. So my brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins, knowing that we are sinners and always in need of God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in 
the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. Let us pray. May your people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the day of Pentecost had come, Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed the crowd. Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with deeds of power, wonders, and signs, that God did through him among you, as you yourselves know, this man handed over to you according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God, you crucified and killed by the hands of those outside the law. But God raised him up, having freedom from death, because it was impossible for him to be held in its power. For David says concerning him, I saw the Lord always before me, for he is at my right hand, so that I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart was glad, and my tongue rejoiced. Moreover, my flesh will live in hope. For you will not abandon my soul to Hades, or let your Holy One experience corruption. You have made known to me the ways of life. You will make me full of gladness with your presence. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.
reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you invoke as Father the one who judges each person impartially according to each one's deeds, live in reverent fear during the time of your exile. You know that you are ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without defect or blemish. Christ was destined before the foundation of the world, but was revealed at the end of the ages for your sake. Through him you have come to trust in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are set on God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord be in your heart and your lips so that you worthy proclaim his holy gospel in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. According to Saint Luke, glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, two of the disciples were going to a village called Emmaus, about eleven kilometers from Jerusalem and talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them. But their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, what are you discussing with each other while you walk along? They stood still looking sad. Then one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place there in these days? He asked them, What things? They replied, The things about Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hope that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since these things took place. Moreover, some women of our group astounded us. They were at the tomb early this morning, and when they did not find his body there, they came back and told us that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who said, 
that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it, just as the women had said, but they did not see him. Then he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are, and how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have declared. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and then enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them the things about himself in the scriptures. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead as if he were going on. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, because it is almost evening, and the day is now nearly over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, blessed, and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he was talking to us on the road, while he was opening the scriptures to us? That same hour, they got up and returned to Jerusalem, and they found the eleven and their companions gathered together. These were saying, The Lord has risen indeed, and he has appeared to Simon. Then they told what happened on the road, and how he had been made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus I'm sure if you're like most people, you've had what we call close encounters. You know, when we've come close to having an accident with our car, or coming around a corner and almost walking into someone, or grabbing a glass just before spilling a drink, or almost dropping something breakable. The list could go on and on, but I think you can remember one of those times. And what did we say? Boy, that was close. Sound familiar? You might even remember a movie called Close Encounters of the Third Kind. This Sunday, as we read about the disciples on the road to Emmaus, I like to call this story a close encounter of the sacred kind. That is, when two of, two of Jesus' disciples encounter the risen Lord as they're walking down a road. What is most interesting about this sacred encounter is that the disciples do not recognize Jesus, at least at first. This has to raise a question for us, much the same as with Jesus' encounter with Mary Magdalene, Magdalene at the tomb. Why were their eyes kept from recognizing him? As far as the disciples were concerned, Jesus was a total stranger. Even Clopas calls Jesus a stranger. Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place there in these days? It is clear that the, that the disciples were greatly discouraged and disheartened. All their hope had been extinguished with the tragic death of Jesus, even though credible witnesses had claimed that his body had disappeared. However, official proof of his resurrection had not yet appeared. This and past events had clouded the disciples' understanding 
and impeded their ability to believe. Although they may have wanted to accept Jesus' resurrection, perhaps they were not really ready to receive the risen Jesus or were not really open to his presence. In other words, the disciples were just not prepared to meet the Lord on their initial encounter with him on the road to Emmaus. Knowing this, Jesus talks with them and tells them everything they ever knew better than they ever knew it before. They will not only have a deeper understanding of Jesus and the whole mystery of his passion, death, and resurrection, but they will also be able to fully accept the Paschal mystery. What Jesus is doing is preparing them to be open to his presence as the risen Lord and to be able to receive him. Only by Jesus' preparation of the disciples on the road to Emmaus will they be able to see him. I think the same can be said for us. We are not always ready or prepared to open ourselves to the Lord's presence in our lives or to receive his grace and carry out his will. <clears throat> Although we may do those things we're supposed to do, like prayer or reading the Bible, <clears throat> or when we could go to Mass, or even meditating, if we're not open to the Lord, if we're not really ready really prepared for a sacred encounter, we can miss it, even if Jesus is there. Even though God can work with anything and any one of us, we still have a part to play. That part is being ready for a sacred encounter. That part is making time for God, but at the same time, giving up our control of God and letting God decide when is the best time to show himself to us. This means being available to God at all times, not just the times we make for him. This means being open to his presence in all aspects of our lives so we can recognize him when he's with us. It would have been much easier and more convenient for the disciples to have Jesus appear to them on their terms according to their timing and under better circumstances. But, God thought, but God's thoughts are not our thoughts, nor God's ways are not our ways. Let's go back to the disciples on the road to Emmaus. Through Jesus' revelation of himself, his word and his person, the disciples' hearts are changed. Their hearts are changed so much that we are told were not our hearts burning within us while he was talking to us on the road, while he was opening scriptures, the scriptures to us. The disciples' hearts were set on fire because Jesus enabled them to hear and to recognize him better than they ever had before. Jesus brought them back into the company of their great ancestors in the faith, all the prophets and wise men of old. From there, they could grasp once again God's providence, and most importantly, that the Messiah should suffer these things and then enter into his glory. It is no wonder that after walking and talking together, the disciples found it impossible to say goodbye to Jesus. Although they still didn't recognize the risen Lord, they did recognize that they had had a sacred encounter. We're told that the disciples finally recognized Jesus in the breaking of bread. Their eyes, which had been closed up to then and could not recognize Jesus, were opened. And the disciples immediately acted upon their new vision. That same hour, they got up and returned to Jerusalem. The disciples' distress and self-absorption can shed light on ourselves and our own roads to Emmaus. How many times have we walked the road to Emmaus so occupied with our difficulties and troubles and worries, with our minds and hearts so crowded that we lose sight of the risen Lord and his walking beside us, ready to have that sacred encounter with us so that, so that we know we're not alone? 
that he's ready to help us and support us, that Jesus is there for us. Every moment of our lives, every experience of our lives, every person in our lives is an opportunity to reflect on the presence of the Lord. What blinds us to his presence? What keeps us from recognizing him? What keeps us from that sacred encounter? In one sense, it's like the book, Where's Waldo? Waldo is always in the picture, but for some people it's easier to find him than for others. For us, Jesus is always in the picture. Maybe we only need to start with acknowledging that and let him open our eyes so that we can recognize him and that we've had a close encounter of the sacred kind. We make our profession of faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, filled with paschal joy, let us pray more earnestly to God that he who listened graciously to the prayers and supplications of his beloved Son may now be pleased to look upon us in our lowliness. For the Church, sacrament of Christ in the midst of the world's struggles, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who try to walk in the way of the Lord and for all who have strayed from the path, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the poor, the unemployed, the depressed, and all who struggle to make ends meet, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all of us, God's holy people, that we embrace those who are nearing the end of life's journey from near or afar, and be comforted by the hope of rising again in his kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the youth and young adults of our diocese, for courage and resolve to deepen their faith in God as they discover their life's direction. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the risen Christ bring hope and strength to all of us, especially the doctors, nurses, priests, those on the front lines, and those who are caring for the sick and isolated in this time of pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now let us pray for our own intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for vocations and families we pray. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, Lord of the, of the harvest, we earnestly ask you to bless our diocese and our world with many, many priests, priests and religious, and religious who will love you fervently and gladly and courageously spend their lives in service to your son's church under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. 
Bless our families and our children, and choose from our homes and our parishes those whom you desire for this holy work. You commanded your angels to guard us in all our ways. Deign to send Archangel Michael, Prince of the Heavenly Host, to defend our families and our church from Satan and all his powers of evil. We ask this through the intercession of our Blessed Virgin Mary, in the, in the name, name of Jesus, Jesus, your Son, and, and our Lord. Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant Church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that, it, that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, me your unworthy servant, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good.
with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
For those who cannot now receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we offer the following prayer. My, My Jesus, Jesus, I believe, I believe that, that you are in the Blessed, blessed Sacrament. sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work you have, re you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you, who have already arisen, risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Resurrects
Thank you.